Hey there, I'm Ben, a developer advocate at Couchbase. There's a good chance you've come across vector search in your daily life, even if you haven't built with it yourself. Think about the personalized constant recommendations you get, all driven by vector embeddings. But vector search is more powerful than just helping you pick a Saturday night movie. Let me show you how vector search can be used in a completely different way, evaluating the quality of blog comments before you even read them. That's right, before you even read them. Let's start though first with a quick refresher on what we're talking about. Vector embeddings are lists of numbers that represent the semantic and contextual meaning of data, like text or images. Created by models trained on human language and massive data sets, vector search is the process of searching these embeddings to find relevant and contextually similar results. Now that we are on the same page, let's dive into how vector search goes beyond basic content recommendations. It can give you insight into the quality of content before you even read a single word. Now, we've all seen comment sections that are, to say the least, chaotic. Off-topic comments, unrelated discussions, and spam links promising quick money. But sometimes comments add real value, offering updates or alternative solutions that save time and effort. So how do you tell when a comment section is worth your time to read or not? By converting a comment section to vector embeddings and scoring the semantic similarity between them, vector search can reveal how relevant and how on topic the comments are. That's where this Chrome extension that I want to show you comes in. I created this extension to showcase the potential for vector search in quality control. And while it works for blog comments, the concept can extend to fraud detection and so much more. For example, the popular bank in Europe, Revolut, uses similar technology to detect credit card fraud. So want to try it out? Well, let me show you how to set it up in a couple quick steps. First, there's a backend server and then the actual extension. To set up the backend server, go to this GitHub repository link that you see in this video and clone the repository to your local machine. Once you've done so, navigate to the project directory in your terminal or your favorite code editor and rename the .sample file to just .env. You're going to add your credentials to that .env file, so make sure not to commit that to GitHub or anywhere else public. Add your OpenAI API key and your Couchbase Capella credentials to that .env file. Couchbase Capella being a fully managed database as a service with a free forever tier. In Capella, go ahead and create a new cluster and a bucket and update the .env file with this info. Now install the dependencies with npm install and start that backend server with npm start. You're running. Your backend server is up and ready to start processing data. Now it's time to add the Chrome extension. You're going to clone the Chrome extension from the second link in this video, which is the link to the extension's GitHub repository. Once you've cloned it from your terminal, run npm install and npm build in the extension's directory in, your, in the directory folder. And then open your browser, open Chrome, and navigate to Chrome colon backslash backslash extensions. Toggle developer mode, and then click on the load unpacked button. Select the folder where your extension is and press OK. The extension that we built here is designed for the popular Dev.2 and its blog posts. So simply open any Dev.2 blog posts, click on Comment Quality Analyzer extension from your list of extensions, input your backend URL if you're running it locally, for example, it's localhost 3000, and then click Analyze. And you're going to get a quality score within seconds. Want to learn more about what you can do with vector search that goes beyond content recommendations or perhaps just simply how to get started with it? Well, explore these ideas and more from the list of links in the description of this video to see how you can harness vector search for your next project.